Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to use this fantastic program called KeyPass to manage all your uh, passwords in one place and uh, you can then use the database that you create on your desktop PC and the program on, on your external USB drive and then you can take that with you when you want to use the passwords on the move and also you can use them on the desktop and laptop as, as mentioned there. Uh, you can either create a key as well as the password uh, that you um, need to open the database where all your passwords are stored and, and then you can manage them from uh, use, opening it that way and the two databases that are created uh, are given this extension KDB as you can see for the classic edition and KDBX for the professional edition okay so that's the overview and let's see how that works uh, you go to the official website and there's the two editions and you can then download them from this link here for the version 1 and version 2 I've got both for Windows 7 and also you can download these if you then want to create a folder with the um, by unpacking the files that you want to copy onto your USB or leave it on your desktop like I do and then when that's updated I just copy that onto the USB to carry with me and there's the supported um, operating systems um, you can also donate to support key pass because it has been going for a number of years I've no uh, association with this company or organization but uh, I recommend it and I think I've been I've trusted this program for a number of years and it's fantastic um, nowadays you need it for internet uh, because there's so many passwords you, to remember um, now as I mentioned there's the two programs this is version 1 and this is version 2 okay so now I'm going to create a database by clicking on that and for thr for our throughout this uh, database creation I'm going to use the password test for the uh, for this purposes but this is the one that you create that's uh, the main database to store you so it's got to be a good one and uh, that you can remember if you lose that then you lose everything I'm going to create both uh, the key f uh, f file as well as you can see use master password and key and then you can then s put that key uh, on a CD, the external drive or in a different folder on your machine so let's create that and because I've already created it I'll call that DB I'll click OK and then type the password again which is test and then overwrite because I've been testing it you get this box to create the uh, key you, you can either use the mouth or both keyboard so I'm going to use the mouse click that bit here and then just keep doing that and it generates uh, uh, crypto cryptographic uh, data and then you can also if you wish type in randomly it doesn't really matter click OK and there's your database that's the structure and then you can start putting all your passwords and organize it in a in, in folder structure you can right click and add groups etc rearrange them and wh whatever uh, now it's not saved yet so I'm going to save that and then put that in a, an appropriate folder version 1 so I've already got that to overwrite it click save and there it is so to open the database it you close it to open it click open find the database in your folder click OK open and then type in the password you'll see it all automatically picks up the key uh, by the program so then click OK now if you choose to create it by not putting the uh, key um, just using the key not the password you can do that so I'm going to just do that and not the password click save and then put that in the appropriate sorry appropriate folder and do that and then click OK You selected oh so I need to untick that right because you don't need the password just the key so this is how you create overwrite 
click on that just follow the same procedure I'll just do this for now click OK and there's your database and then save the database in the appropriate folder simple I'll write that so now close the database open it and then open the database and you don't need to type the password so untick that it finds the key click OK and it does it if you just use the other one and not type in the key so you can use both that and that you got the idea or just that or and just that so if you don't use the key I'll just do that and then type in the password and there it is save it and then put it in the appropriate place I'll write that so now close the database open the database find the database type in your password without the key as I mentioned you can have those combinations and there it is so now you can start adding your data in your database I'm going to close this one because we're finished with that one the only difference with this one um, just leave that open for a minute and start with this one and it creates a new database here for the professional edition you save that or write that and I'm going to do the same thing test and test again and this little box makes you, uh, reveals what you've typed so you can click on that and then hide it type in the key and let it create it so click that and then I'm going to put it here because it's calling it de date new database so I'm going to leave that as is you can choose what you want to call it save and start doing that just keep doing that with your mouse because uh, you'll see the generated bits at the bottom there it is and that's what it looks like and you can also type in randomly it doesn't really matter for extra security so click OK leave that as it is so you've just done the master password and keep of your file and you can just have the master password no key file or you can just have the key file no password or both as I've shown here and it ultimately finds the key and then leave that as it is click OK and there's your database now you need to save that so you click OK save and that's the structure it gives you it's very similar except on this one you get uh, the history folder you don't get that with uh, with this one okay so right so now when you close this database you open it find the database that you created it'll automatically pick up the key and then you if it's on a drive obviously then you have to plug the drive in type in the master password and it'll open the database now to go to the page in this sample one you just right click on there and then um, you can have your username password and the URL and you can either go to the URL where you log in and then um, add the entry here to um, copy your database into um, passwords and username into all and because this is already created I'm going to open this one so click open and it goes to the test form and the test f test form has username and password make sure the cursor is in the username then open the um, the the, uh, the uh, database where the entry is once it's, it's there right click on that as I said you can either copy and put the username in the box and the password in the, in the appropriate box and then click submit or you can do an auto type perform auto type from here you can use it with the mouse by clicking that or using the keyboard control V so I'm going to use the mouse click on that and it enters it and then it says the following data would have been submitted okay so that's how it works now if you don't have this next to each other and you've got username and another 
address and then the password here then you need to copy the username and the password in the appropriate box otherwise it'll what it'll do is copy the username here and in, in the next box it'll think it's the password and we'll put the password entry in there so that's how it works and um, you can then start organizing your database by rearranging it moving up and down uh, adding groups etc and then um, entries in email and adding entries within that um, you can you can do it from here for example this add entry and then start adding your just um, email and then username you your username usually it's the email address um, for example gmail.com and then it creates the password automatically um, and then you can type in the URL best to copy that from the site you're gonna visit so if you go to um, Gmail and click on Gmail let's type that oh here we are Gmail then it defaults to this now I normally leave that unticked because I don't want to have the password in the uh, browser so make sure this is highlighted to uh, do the entry like I showed you earlier for the username and password it, but because it's waiting to log in in this page and this is the right URL copy that into your database here like that and then click OK and save okay now then if the password should change you got a history when you go to uh, right click edit return and view you can see your entries you can even put a password expiry uh, to remind you and there's other features here auto type etc the only thing you will remember is entry and history and if I do change the password where you can then use the password generator which has got preset entries of um, length of password uppercase etc as you can see and then you can give it a profile name for this uh, email address and then um, or choose um, a profile that you need in case these characters are set for that profile so if a website might say minimum or maximum eight then you need to make that to eight and then leave the entries as they are if they say right no you need special characters you can just select those and then save the profile uh, I'll call it, call it test email profile whatever you want to call it and then click OK and then that's preset to 8 and then when you generate the password you can say right derive password using profile and then you can look at the new password click OK save and when you right click on it click at it you'll see that the new password is there but the old password is in the history so that's uh, what this version 2 does there's the old password with the 20 characters so it, you don't lose it and then you can decide to delete the old one from there you can view it delete it or restore that um, so if you see if you restore that you can go back uh, until you save it any change you make it won't see it's gone back to the old one until you save it it won't restore it so if you cancel if you decide you want the other one you can just close the database and not save discard changes okay um, and that's how it works I won't save that yet and you just start adding your passwords for your URLs um, so every time you add an entry it'll be um, Get a suggested password username so the only things you need to remember is the username password and the URL and set expiries etc have a look at this program it's fantastic you um, and I've used it for a number of years uh, from time to time you do get uh, I will discard this time to time you do get updates so on their website you can I think you can the program will set to remind when you install it automatic updates uh, and, uh, and then you can keep uh, up to date with it so when you click on this new release it'll say read more and then it says you can get it from here release today for example uh, this is a stable release 
then you can upgrade from the previous version to the new version and likewise with the version 2 there is a video on YouTube on how to use uh, the uh, program for um, Android phone so I won't bother doing it here but then what you do is you just uh, um, go to your folder so if you got version 1 you just copy the program right which is this one and the database which is that one and these two other files the license key then on a USB stick or I just just copy the whole folder uh, both folders selecting all of that and the key pass uh, onto your USB drive then I can decide whether I want to use version 2 or version 1 or uh, either and then choose the appropriate key um, and password to open the databases that are within uh, the, the, these ones right uh, and then you can also um, create a, a, a separate place for the key uh, as I mentioned but I've, on this machine I've just put it there for extra security because it's always with me you, you can't go wrong you can then uh, uh, create a backup of this uh, on a USB and store it or burn it onto a CD so you never lose it in case your thumb bright drive gets stolen and uh, um, or, or lost and then you you can't recover it or you can then store it somewhere where you can uh, you know you don't lose it um, that's about it so thanks for watching bye for now and enjoy